<laughs> Last question. I want to take a side on that. You do? I do. Yeah, I would appreciate your that's very... I think it is very right to do that. And I think you have to be a Canadian to disagree with me. <laughs> <laughs> They're so polite. They say to their government, of course you're going to abuse us, that's okay, we want to be polite. <laughs> no, what is, what is wrong with exposing people to the truth? Suppose you were allowed to show the horrors in Auschwitz to the average German citizen. No, it might have toppled Hitler earlier. If something horrible is happening, covering it up is, is more horrible. The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is that the good do nothing, especially reveal the evil. Now, that's probably going to be illegal. You'll probably be thrown in jail. During the 1992 Democratic Convention in New York City, a pro-life activist, well outside the 10-foot limit, uh, stood by the convention hall when uh, President Clinton came in and he had an image of a, of a large aborted fetus. It was perfectly legal. He was thrown in jail. And none of the TV cameras saw that incident or, or filmed that incident. Well, if, if 100 people did that, the TV cameras would have to film it. If 100 bishops marched with those pictures and got thrown in jail, the newspapers would have to headline 100 bishops thrown in jail. That would be wonderful. <laughs> Not because I hate bishops, because I love them. <laughs>